everybody welcome back to my channel this is Kathy at Attic Treasures etc coming back from a little bit of a hiatus due to some uh, computer issues and a very painful sciatic nerve issue that lasted quite a while so anyway um, I'm here to work again on this uh, journal made with um, images from Memories of the Meadow by um, collage type and tatty treasures and uh, you can find a lot of the um, images that I'm going to use in this on their um, in their Etsy shop okay so I have um, three signatures that I'm working on one that says journal one that says my dreams and one that says this and that and then this one I took um, one of the accordion um, it's like a little accordion what do you call it? Accordion file. And instead of making an accordion file, I made a pocket out of it and put this little tag in there. I can get it back in with a window and um, put a pocket on the front with a little um, journal, journal spot right there. So I thought I would do another one to put in another signature not sure which one yet, but I thought I would just go ahead and make one on camera and probably one other thing too. So I'm going to start with uh, this portion of it and I'm just going to cut out, cut out the pieces that I need. So I hope everybody's doing okay. My sciatic nerve was pretty nasty. Um, I don't know if you've ever had that kind of pain before, and I hope you never do. <laughs> but it made it so I couldn't really sit for very long. And the chiropractor that I had been seeing, well, there were two um, that were in our plan before we moved out here to the island. And, you know, they were in the same office and everything. And then when we went on Medicare, I continued to see them because I'd been seeing them for about 20 years. And I didn't really want to change. And I just thought, well, you know, I don't go that often. And I just thought I'll just go ahead and pay the extra price. Um, because they were just such good chiropractors. I just loved them. And, um, but then when we went on Medicare and... Um, like I said, I was still going to them, but when this sciatic nerve thing happened, I went to make an appointment and found out that one of them had retired and the other had um, opened up his own practice in a town quite a ways away, <laughs> too far for me to travel, especially for somebody that's not in my plan. So rather than see another chiropractor in that, particular office since it wasn't in my plan anyway I decided I better find another chiropractor and that was quite the um, ordeal to try to find somebody in my plan close enough okay so I'm just scoring this here and down the center so trying to find one in my plan close enough to where it would make sense for me to go. Well, I, I called one that was supposedly in the plan and on the island here where we live. And uh, the receptionist said, well, this actually, he's, <laughs> it's not really a chiropractor's office, it's a massage therapist. And I said, but they, they're in the plan. <laughs> and she says, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. And there's a chiropractor downstairs, but that's not who this is. So then I had to find somebody else and they weren't, um, that person wasn't taking Medicare anymore. And uh, so I was stuck um, trying to find someone and I did, but as it turned out, they couldn't see me for about a month. And that made it very, <laughs> very difficult. Um, to deal with because it was just so incredibly painful. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put um, a little thumb hole right here. Anyway, so I've had about 
for appointments now and I can finally tolerate and it, it's basically almost pain-free I, I still have some issues with it but for the most part I'm beyond that now okay so what I thought I would do here um, I want to make a window and I'm going to use this punch to do it so let's see I'm trying to get it in the center as much as possible let's try can I do it this way no <laughs> I thought I was getting I thought I was gonna be very clever but it turned out I wasn't very clever okay so there we have a window and I have some transparency film that I cut um, I'll save this this little guy for later I have some transparency film that I can um, put behind the window and then I will just cut it down a little bit and that will work just fine um, I'm going to use some double back tape anyway so this new chiropractor he's great and he's close and has uh, almost completely resolved the issue but man, that was, that was bad. So has anybody else dealt with sciatic issues before? Leave me a note in the comments and tell me you know, how, how you dealt with it. My husband's still working on the backyard. I think that's gonna be a project that's gonna be around for a while. But he's making good progress. Does anybody have any good summer plans? We have an anniversary coming up and we're trying to figure out what to do. We always wait until the very last minute to make any plans. So that sort of limits what we do. Because <laughs> we just get so distracted with other things that uh, we, it's like, oh, we should we should really um you know make a plan and and schedule a trip yeah we should really do that i wonder what's on netflix tonight and then we get distracted by netflix we're very easily distracted we have we have the uh, attention span of sometimes i think of a three-year-old <laughs> okay here we go So that makes a nice little window it's right on the edge there I'm not even gonna trim it it's just fine and I'm gonna take some uh, ground espresso and ink up the edges So even this, though this is uh, this little kit is set up to be an accordion file, of course, as crafters, we um, like to see what else we can do with it. These papers are just beautiful. I meant to, I really wanted to get this done in May, but circumstances just did not let me. Between what I had to do with my computer um, issue and then my sciatic nerve, I just just couldn't deal with it okay I mean physically couldn't deal with it all right now so now I'm going to um, just close up this pocket okay I'm gonna sew around this and then I'll be right back okay I've sewn all around and my big idea that I hope is going to work 
is I want to take this tag and have it in here like so. But I want to attach this um, piece that I cut out that with that same punch and the butterfly to the tag so that it shows through the window. So what I'm thinking I will do is take some of this tracing paper and this is um, just Dritz tracing paper that you can get at any fabric store or probably even Walmart. And I'm just gonna trace onto the tag the shape of that, um, that window. I'm just going to cut a piece, cut it down a little bit more. I'm just going to slide it in the best I can. I don't know if this is going to work. It should. No reason why it shouldn't. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm just going to take my little stylus that I got at the Dollar Tree and just go around the edges of this uh, punch out. Just right on top of the acetate that I put in there. And it should, if all goes well, trace this image right onto the tag. So let's check and see if it worked. Okay, it, it did a little bit, and it's enough. <clears throat> if you can see the outline, you can see the faint outline. And what that means is that I can glue this, let's put it right side up. <laughs> glue this right onto the tag and then put the butterfly on top and then that should show through the window there. So let's try that. I'm going to use art glitter glue. And you're probably thinking instead of punching it out and going to all this trouble, why didn't I just glue this to the outside without punching out the, the hole first? And that's not a bad question. <laughs> but where's the fun and challenge in that? So anyway, here we go. I'm just gonna um, ink the edges of this guy just so they're not white anymore. Okay, now here's the moment of truth. Ta da! <laughs> All right, so that worked. Now I want to decorate the outside of this with this pretty little fairy lady that's on the front of my journal cover. We'll let her make another appearance here. There she looks cute. Okay, but I'm gonna, since that paper's so thin, I'm gonna use um, this stuff, my glue stick, <laughs> scotch-free glue stick. There, perfect. Now we have to figure out how to put it inside the journal. Um, but I had this idea um, after I sewed on the, you know, on this little 
pocket here. I want to do something with this envelope and this page and tuck it under like so. Um, and then make this into a belly band type thing. So, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to uh, glue the flap closed. Where am I? Yes, I'm going to glue the flap closed. <laughs> Sometimes these ideas come into my head and they're not fully formulated. Has that ever happened to you? And then you go to try to put it together and it's like, uh, well, I'm not really sure what I was thinking. <laughs> but I think I know what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to glue that closed. And then I'm going to cut it down to the height of the page. Or just a little bit less than the height of the page. Which, um, I really like this pink one. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll cut it at um, let's try seven and three quarters. And why don't we just go ahead and cut on this side too so that the flaps are pretty even. So I'm cutting off a quarter inch on each end. And then um, I'm also going to open it up. I, I just want the front of this and basically just the flat portion. Okay, so now I have this and I can use this for something else later. Um, I'm going to cut out these triangle pieces. And I think I'm going to be it's going to be easier with scissors. Do a little fit check here, and we need to cut down this way a little bit on both sides. Okay, this should be just about right. Okay, I'm satisfied with that, but I want to decorate this, and I have the prettiest napkins. I have a little bit of a napkin problem in that whenever I see pretty napkins, I just can't not get them. So I'm just going to take one of these. And these are, I think, three ply. One. Okay. Here. So I'm just going to decoupage this on. Okay, so I'm using Distress Collage Medium uh, to decoupage my napkin on here. It's my favorite. Um, you can use any kind of white glue, white wet glue, I guess. Um, just need to make sure that you smooth it down so that there's no bubbles. had some of these in my shop for a while. My husband made them because we were going to use this kind of tile in our kitchen and it turned out to be really difficult to cut. Um, so we returned what we could and we still had a few left over 
um, quite a few actually. And uh, so my husband, we bought some uh, some handles and my husband made those smoothers for me and we put them in the shop, but been too busy working in the yard to make any more. But eventually he will. And they can go back in my shop. But they work really well for this kind of a project. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry before I put the top coat on. I find that that works better. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I have um, put a top coat of the, of the, not Mod Podge, but the Collage Medium on here. And I sewed all around it. And I also backed it on to some more of the envelope just to give it a little bit of structure. So I'm gonna um, put this all together now. And what I'd like to do is to, I'll, I'm just gonna use some double back tape. Um, let's see, move that out of the way. I think this will make a fun little, whoops, fun little addition to this journal. Kind of a little combo thing. Okay, so let's put some of the double back tape on here. This is double back tape that I got at the Dollar Tree. It is acid free, if that's something that matters to you. And I'm just going to roughly center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. That looks pretty good. And then I'm also going to use double back tape to attach it to the page. Right now, the only other thing that I want to do is I'm thinking about putting a butterfly on here, but I haven't decided if I want the blue butterfly or the pink butterfly. I think I'll do the blue butterfly. There's a lot of this journal that's in the in the blue range, so try that. These are Dollar Tree butterflies. I always like it when they come out with packs of butterflies because um, they hardly ever come out with the same pack twice. And it's fun to get them in all different colors. Okay, so that will go in this journal here into the this and that signature. And I just really love the way that turned out. And then I can use this part for a belly band if I want to put um, an extra piece of paper in there or a journal card or something like that. I can do that. So anyway, I'm going to call it done for today. And I am working right along in this journal. And so um, in my next video, I'd like to use some more of the uh, Memories of the Meadow, uh, you know, embellishments to make some pockets and, and uh, file, like file fold downs and things like that. So join me in my next video to see how this uh, continues to come along. And... Well, <laughs> I should be finishing it soon. This has been fun. So um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please um, consider su subscribing to my channel. And if you're back um, and you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So thanks for, again for joining me. I'll see you in my next video. Happy crafting, everybody, and always let the serendipity find you. Bye-bye.